bold, dynamic, vibrant. Those are only a few words that you might use to not only describe Lucy Cook herself, but Lucy's work. Lucy is an artist from Sherwood Park. I love to paint with a lot of acrylics, but one thing that's really specific to my style is I also love to paint with neon colors and they look so good under the black light. Totally gives the painting a whole other feeling to it. I've honestly been doing art, painting, drawing, sketching since birth, so <laughs> I was lucky enough that my mom always put me into like art classes and she always had uh, teachers and stuff for me to learn from. So thanks to my mom, I got started pretty early in my life. <laughs> well, a lot of things in life give me inspiration, like the emotions that I have and everything that I experience through life. I treat art as a way of digesting life. Um, one of my biggest inspirations right now is actually what God has created, the beautiful environment and sunsets and the earth in general. So that's why I'm really like focusing on landscapes because you just can't do it any better than God. <laughs> my favorite piece right now is um, this one over here. It's got a pink and orange background and it's one of my favorites because I like to call pink and orange together porange and it's like so delicious how pink and orange go together. <laughs> So I really liked having that in the background with this stark black in the foreground and the um, the balance of the starkness with the soft background was really what I was kind of looking for in that painting. So I think I did a good job. <laughs> Ever since COVID began, it was a little bit hard because with everything shutting down, I couldn't have a gallery space or show my art in public. But I actually used that opportunity as a time to go directly into my studio and work full time. And I was also kind of in between jobs and stuff too. So it actually really gave me a lot of potential and a lot of time to just, you know, hit her home and work as hard as I wanted in my studio for as long as I wanted. So now I'm stuck in it full time and I'm so happy. I couldn't be happier. And yeah, I just can't believe how far I've gotten so far. Um, I'll definitely be pretty recently here doing maybe some sculpting at Silver Skate Festival this winter. So I think that's happening in February. And I'll be doing an international snow competition where I carve a big snow block. So that'll be pretty fun. But as for what's going on for the rest of my career, um, I'm just hoping to open up to brand new clients, get a lot of commissions coming in, and work full time in my studio. You can find me at Instagram at LucyCook underscore creations or you can find me on my website, which I highly recommend at lucycookcreations.com. It was an absolute treat to spend some time with Lucy uh, and to hear a little more about what has inspired her and where her work will be taking her. And if you would like to see her work firsthand, why don't you head on down to the Woodcroft Library? I'm Jackie Fenske, out and about in the community, and I am with 360 Alberta.